Hey everyone, the Natural Art Freak here, and uh, we can finally start working on the um, the architecture scene. And uh, this might be the only time I'm actually recording with a webcam. So, uh, but if you guys still want to see me record with a webcam, if you want to see me or you want to watch me while I work, you can uh, leave a comment below because uh, I don't plan on using the webcam in my next video. So yeah, let's get started. This is the first uh, part of the uh, whole architecture series. I'm pretty sure it's going to be less than 20 parts for the exterior i'm pretty sure so yeah i'm going to make this very user friend i mean uh beginner friendly so if you're new to blender you can actually uh make this on your own so uh just go over to blender.org i'll put the uh the url on the screen for you guys to be able to type it in your browser and then just go there and download the uh, latest version of blender from the website and then uh we can get to this but if you're new if you just installed your blender and you open it up you're going to get a splash screen like this okay and uh it's going to ask you to assign your left click or your selection button to uh the specific side of your mouse and uh i recommend you uh assign it to the uh the right click so you're going to select with right click on the screen you're going to change that to right click right now my video is flipped my webcam is flipped i'm not sure if it's going to come out the same in the final video but just know the right click okay just set it up to the right click and then just set up the uh the search tool to be the space bar so just set your search to be the space bar and the selection to be the uh, right click right here and once you're done doing that just click anywhere on the screen to get rid of the splash screen just like this but before we move on let me just uh make this a full screen real quick all right so we're pretty much going to be making the exact same scene in Blender. I've already gone through the process of making the whole scene. That's what you were seeing in the video. So uh, let's get started on this. Before we actually work, I'm going to bring up a uh, an image or maybe maybe not an image. Uh, yeah, so before I move on, let me just make a space here. I'm just going to make a space here to put my video in it. So my video is going to be in this area right here. I just split that up for you guys, just like that. So yeah. Before we move on, I want us to get into the uh, preferences. So just click on edit and then go into preferences right here. And uh, in here, we're going to go, in case you uh, you couldn't assign the left click in the space bar in the beginning, you can also do that over here. Just go over to key map and then change the select width to right and then change the space bar action, change it to search like this. And then go over to the add-ons right here and then in the search tool or the search bar here, just type in Archie. So you're going to see Archie Park. Just enable that add-on by clicking here. Once you click it, it will enable it. And then open up that drop-down list and then click on the render preset and then click on render presets. It's going to take some time to render those presets for you. Just leave it to do whatever it needs to do. And once it's done, just close the uh, user preferences or you can just, just to be safe, just click on save preferences and then just close that. So yeah, before we begin, for the beginners, I'm going to go through uh, some slight... Uh, tutorial for you in blender if you want to move in the workspace like you have your workspace like this you want to move in a workspace you want to do that with your middle mouse button right here okay this button in the middle so that obviously means you need a three button mouse to do this or to use blender so you're going to use the middle mouse button right here to move in blender like this that is rotate in the viewport like this so just hold it down and then move your mouse and that's going to rotate it for you that is with this button over here all right and then you want to select, say there's an object, you want to select that object with this right button. That's what we assigned just a few minutes ago. All right. So you want to assign that with this. I mean, you want to select with this button over here. And uh, obviously, when you open up your Blender, you had a cube, a camera, and a light in there. So all you want to do is to just, let me enable this for you guys real quick. So don't do this. I'm just enabling this for you guys. Uh, yeah. So if you take a look down here, right down at the screen, you can see there are a bit, uh, there's some numbers showing here that i mean did i say numbers alphabets uh, sometimes it could be numbers too so yeah so there are some alphabets showing here this is a so that's me pressing the a key on the keyboard s me pressing the s key on the keyboard in that manner so anything i'm going to be pressing you're going to be seeing down here in here and this cube over here represents the left click the one in the middle represents the middle click and the one in the right represents the right click so just so you guys know, just know, I think it writes down down there for you guys as well. So, yeah, keep that in mind. And uh, in case you are confused as to what key I press, you just take a look down there. Maybe rewind and you just take a look down there and you should be good. So, yeah, you use the middle mouse click to move about and then you use your right click to select. Now, right now, this this thing you're seeing here, this case over here, that whatever looks good with this uh, checkered red and white, 
and this uh, black cross hairs in the middle. This is where your object is going to appear when you add it in, okay? So we want to reset this back to the, uh, the, the center of the world. Maybe for you it's already there, but I made a mistake by clicking and then moving it. So in case yours also moved, you want to press Shift and S. You want to press Shift and S, and it brings up this menu for you, and you want to select Kezer to World Origin, okay? So Shift plus S, and then choose Kezer to World Origin to move it right in the middle there. All right, just like that. Now, if you go on and move your mouse to any area around here like this, say somewhere around here, and you press Shift and S, nothing is going to show up. It's not going to show you anything because that's not where it's that's not where you're supposed to use that command, okay? The command is supposed to be used in this window over here, just this window. So just make sure the mouse gets this in this window before you press that shift and S. Alright, so also you want to keep your eye, uh, you want to keep your eye where my Keza is before I press any uh, key map, alright, that is also going to help you, so if I press any key map here, don't go on and press it in this window over here, it's not going to work, okay, so yeah, let's get on with this, so to get started, I'm going to press shift and A, shift plus A for the beginners, shift plus A to add in, okay, so to add in a mesh, so just press shift plus A, and that gives you the list of stuff you can add in, once you move your mouse off of it, is going to disappear so shift and a select mesh over here to add in a mesh and then over here you can see archie pack all right what we enabled in the preferences so archie pack and then maybe you want to build up some walls you can select wall or you want to add in a window a door a stair fence truss whatever you want to add in you can add in from there so mesh and then maybe you want to add in a wall so let's go with a wall like this okay so once you add that in it gives you uh some what is it, a slab or something but the dimensions are actually accurate, okay? So a wall usually is averagely 2.7 meters high. That's what you're seeing here. It's 2.7 meters high, and the thickness is about 0.2. And then right now, the length of the wall is just 2 meters, all right? So you can make changes to this, but before you actually make changes, just make sure you don't uh, do anything. After you add in the, uh, the wall, you can move about in the viewport, but don't add anything after you add in the wall. Just press N on your keyboard like this. And it brings up this list for you, okay? It brings something up here on the side, on the left, on the right side for you. And you want to go down here to Archipad. So just click on Archipad, and it brings this menu up for you, okay? So with this menu, you can see we have parts, we have step angle, we have width, we have height, we have all kinds of stuff, all right? So if you if you increase the part, it's going to increase the number of walls, angles, uh, the number of walls is going to give in, oh, how do I put this? It's going to give you the number of walls you need. So you have one on the left and one on the top, like that. So maybe you need three, you're just going to increase this to three. Maybe you need four, you're just going to increase it to four. So I'm just going to drop it to three for you guys so I can explain something to you guys real quick. So you also have a step angle. I'm not sure what that does, but you can play around with it if you want. And we have the width. This is the, uh, the, the width of the wall, okay? So you can increase that. But I my wall is about 0.13 thickness. Uh, mind you, though, whatever I'm, I'm doing here is just for the beginners, okay? So if you're if you are actually here to... Blend the architecture itself. You want you and you know much about Blender already. You might want to wait until the next video comes out, or if it's already out, you can just jump to the next video and then just uh, start watching. That is, if you already have any idea about Blender. This is just for the beginners, okay? So yeah. So this is the witness of the wall. You can add that in. Right now, I'm just going to keep it at 0.2, even though my wall is going to be 0.13, which I'm going to keep in the next video. So this is the wall height. You can increase this to increase the height. And then you can move over here to part one, okay? This part one is actually representing the first part of the wall, which is the side over here. You can increase the length of it. You can see that increases the length. Let me just move the viewport a bit. You can see that increases the length. And I also forgot to mention, okay? If you want to zoom in and zoom out in Blender, you use the scroll button, okay? Just scroll up and down to zoom in and zoom out. That's what you use that for. So this will increase the length for you like this. And you can also decrease it. Maybe, okay, you can move it in the negative direction, of course. So just in this direction, you can increase it like this. So that's for the part one. So let's say we increase the part one to about five meters long. And then the part two to about maybe seven. Let me increase it so you can see the one that increases. This one right here. So you can go with seven meters long like this. And maybe the, the third one, you can also go with, uh, I don't know, any length you want to go with. So you can go ahead and add in more parts like this. You can add in more parts, increase the length. Sorry, I think that's part four. Increase the length like this. You can increase it. All right. So we can increase this to about like this. Let's drop this down. You can add in as many parts as you want. Okay, it doesn't really matter. So you can see I've added in another part. You can increase that length as well. 
increase it to whatever amount you want and then also you can make it you can go ahead and make each of these walls or any of them you can make them curved or straight by just uh, clicking on this here so maybe you want to make the first one curved just click on curve and you can see that makes it curve and then it it provides you with uh, uh, what do you call it other values to tweak around to uh, help you with how much curve you need right now you can see the curve is dropping until there's no more curve but you go with 180 at your full it gives you a full 180 curved wall all right like that and you can also increase the radius that increases the size of it and obviously that increases the uh, the whole uh, area which it covered which covers and then the starting angle I think the starting angle let me see uh, yeah the starting angle actually uh, lets you position the wall in what direction you want it to be so let's say maybe in this direction you don't want it in this direction you can actually increase it until it faces the other direction like this okay so you'd go with something like uh, let's say zero and you can see that gives you that direction very nicely like that or you want to go with it facing the other side so you want to type in like 180 and you can see it's facing the other side just like that so whatever you want to do you can do it gives you all those options even when you add in another object you can still come back and then make changes to it so maybe if you add in another object you can still come back to this one and the options are still available there for you you can still make changes to them however you want so yeah that's the first part and also you also have uh, you you have uh, other options like uh, let me just move the mouse cursor here so if you want to move the mouse cursor you do that with your right click on the viewport okay so you just click anywhere in the viewport to move your mouse there like that and now you're gonna press shift and a so let's go shift and a archie pack and let's add in a window so it brings this up for you right here you can select whatever window you want maybe this one and then you take a look at it and then also you can make changes to this as well okay so you have the width you have the depth you have the height you have the altitude that is the uh, the height the, the general height of course and then offset as well okay so all these can actually help you you have a number of rows you can also increase that what did i click on uh we also have real windows like this so real windows flat windows and all that you can go with whatever you want and then just uh, work with it also there are more options for you you have the stairs you can go with, with whichever stairs you want there's a spiral one of course again you have those options to tweak it height you have the thickness you have the offset you have a lot of stuff that can help you the height depth okay so this is depth and i think uh there's one that allows you to add more uh, uh let me see full height okay so yeah you know what to do just tweak go around in this uh these these uh, options and then work with uh whatever you want to go with but uh yeah so you can add in more stuff as well let's go archie park we can add in uh fence whichever fence we want to add in we can add in we can go we can go uh floor i think that's pretty basic so yeah just remember that wherever you have your wherever you have your 3d keza is where your object is going to appear all right that's pretty much it so uh i'm not sure if that covered the basics for you guys but um uh, if you want to know if you're a beginner and you want to know the shortcuts uh, I might actually put a link in the description for you guys to get a PDF It's not my PDF it's something I found online that helped me when I started using blender but uh, you can go through that PDF and then uh, learn some of the shortcuts you need and all that but yeah I think I'll pretty much end the first video here and in the second video we can actually get started with, with the real work so yeah I'll see you guys in the next video